So here's the situation with that. <laughs> channel today's video is such a fun one I'm gonna be doing like a casual Cancun vacation haul with you guys if you haven't been keeping up on it Trevor and I are attending our neighbor's wedding early December in Cancun and I'm so excited because I've actually never been to Mexico except for on our mini moon we did a little booze cruise and we were in Ensenada for like eight hours but that's about it for Mexico for me which is very unusual because I do live in Southern California most people have been to Mexico multiple times but yeah this will be my first time actually going so I'm definitely excited I think it'll be fun that we're going in December kind of get away from the cold weather and by cold in Southern California I mean like 70 degrees but still it's definitely gonna be a lot warmer in Cancun it's gonna feel truly like summer so it'll be a fun way to switch up the December month for us but for this video I wanted to show you guys all the things that I got for Cancun including the dress that I got to wear to their wedding new bikinis and just a few vacation staples but before we get into it I just want to welcome anyone who's new to my channel I create content on fashion beauty and lifestyle and as of tomorrow vlogmas kicks off here on my channel so if you guys are interested in vlogmas or in just fashion beauty and lifestyle content in general I would love it if you would subscribe and hit the notification bell and of course please don't forget to like this video and leave a comment there are actually a couple pieces in here where I could definitely use your guys's opinions on whether or not I should keep it so if you want to weigh in on that make sure to leave me a comment but I just figured we go ahead and dive right into the try on portion I'll try on all the dresses the bikinis tops, bottoms, rompers. I got a ton of different things I wanted to share with you guys. And then after I try on all the clothing, I got a couple of things that aren't clothing or anything. So I'll show you guys those after the try on. So kicking off this try on with my dress for the wedding. This is from a brand called Joss, J-A-U-S, I believe. And this is their Carter slip dress. When I saw this online, I was like, that's it, that's the one. I had a dress in mind already. I was gonna get this one on the screen from Tiger Mist and they sold out of it in the green. They only had the brown left and I just didn't want to wear brown to a wedding in Cancun. So I was stressing over trying to find a dress that I like just as much. And when I saw this one, I was like, oh my God, that's perfect. It has the slit like the other one. And the color is so similar. So I ordered this one in a medium and I really, really love the way that fits. First off, I love how high this slit is. It goes like all the way up to the top of your thigh, which is so sexy. Then as you guys can see, it's a cow neck in this really, really beautiful green. I think the color name on this one is grass. And then in the back, it has adjustable straps and it just crisscrosses. But I am obsessed with this dress. I'm really happy with my first order from them. I will say though that they are a little bit of a pricier brand. This was actually one of their more affordable dresses. It was like just under $100, but all of their other dresses were like in the 150 to 250 range. Some even I think went up to 400. So just know that if you're going to shop on them, this is definitely one of the more affordable options but it is definitely worth the money because I just can't get over it I don't want to take it off I love the color I love the style this slit is like giving me vibes I can't wait to wear it I'm really excited for this wedding <laughs> so the first swimsuit is this one from bright swim so first off each piece comes like individually wrapped in these little bags so like one for your bottoms one for your tops and it's the same pattern as the swimsuit which I thought was a really really cute detail but I'll put the name of the style that I got on the screen but as you guys can see it's like this peach striped white and red swimsuit I really like this I think that the pattern is really cute for Cancun it's like bright and fun and very playful the bottoms are a thong style so I'm not going to show you guys the back for obvious reasons but I love the fact that they are a high rise you guys know I'm a huge fan of high rise bikinis and then I also really love the top it's almost like a string style but you don't have to tie anything everything hooks into itself so it lays on you really really nicely and for this bikini I'm wearing a large for both pieces you can get two different sizes if you need to you order each piece individually I went with larges for both because I'm typically a medium but I do like to size up in my bikinis just so that they lay on me a little bit better I'm not really one to do a lot of water sports or anything so I don't necessarily have to worry about my bikini getting too loose most of the time I'm just laying out or just taking a quick dunk in the water but this is my first time ordering for bright swimwear and I do have to say I really really like this bikini a lot I would definitely order from them again the quality on it feels so nice and I'm a huge fan of the fit I just kind of wish that in this particular style they had more options for patterns and stuff because I believe that these two styles only come in one other striped pattern and then just in a couple of other solid colors but they do have a ton more stuff 
styles and a lot more different colors and patterns so you guys can definitely shop around on there find something that's really good for you and I feel like the price point is pretty decent for this it's $30 for the top $30 for the bottom obviously not as cheap as like the Amazon swimsuits that I'm gonna show you guys in a second but if you want something that's just like a little bit better tier but you don't want to spend an arm and a leg I feel like bright swimwear is a pretty good price point okay then so jumping into the Amazon stuff the first one is this bikini I'm not gonna lie to you guys I don't know if I'm gonna keep this it just it doesn't fit on me the way that I wanted it to I feel like it just shortens my torso too much it rises a little bit too high so I'm not a huge huge fan of it but I still want to show it to you guys because the pattern is so cute and it might flatter a different body type if you have a longer torso I think that this would be so cute I am really bummed that I'm not like a huge fan of it I haven't 100% decided that I'm gonna return it but I'm about like 85% sure but like I said I really love the pattern on it I think that it's so cute this is perfect for a getaway video vacation it's bright it's fun it's colorful but I feel like it's not too over the top it definitely is at a good level these are just like high-rise bottoms and then this bandeau top and this is actually like tied around you can totally take it off and wear it as a full bandeau if you want so it's nice that you get that option but if you guys are interested in this one I got this one in a size large and the bottoms are really really big on me if I were to keep this I would size down to the medium so on this one if you want to get it like I said if you've got a longer torso and you can make this work better for you I would definitely stay true to size so this is the last bikini of the haul I I just got a handful because I got so many bikinis for Vegas and Hawaii when we went earlier in the year so I didn't feel the need to get a ton I'll definitely reuse some of them in Cancun but I just wanted like a couple of new ones for the trip so this is one of the other ones and this one I'm definitely keeping it is one of my favorites so as you guys can see it's like a blue marble almost the pattern kind of reminds me of like clear blue waters I think that's so pretty definitely appropriate for a beach vacation and the top is an underwire but it's like one of those U underwire bras so it comes up here I think it's really flattering it kind of like lifts the girls up a little bit and then the bottoms are these high-rise bikini bottoms again it's a little bit of a thong situation going on in the back so I'm not gonna turn fully around but I think that this is my favorite bikini out of all of them I just love the way that fits this one is from Zaffle via Amazon and I got a size large in it and I love it the last time I ordered a bikini from Zaffle I actually really hated it I thought that it fits so terribly so I was a little bit nervous about this one but when I got it in I was thrilled it honestly ended up fitting even better than I expected it to and it does come in a bunch of different colors so obviously it'll be linked down below if you guys like the style but you might want a different print or a different color definitely check it out and it's a lot faster to get Zaffle swimsuits through Amazon obviously because you have Prime but I will also link it on Zaffle's website as well because it might be technically cheaper to get it off of there since you can use a discount code which I do have a discount code with Zaffle I'll put it in the description below so it just kind of depends on how quick you need it by all right so this romper is a resort look that I was planning on wearing for or one of the dinners it's an all-inclusive resort so we'll be going out to dinner every night because obviously everything's included but when I saw this pattern I was like that is so Cancun I love the bright color and I love the fun design on it I think it's just so appropriate for a resort getaway it actually crisscrosses here in the front and then it ties in the back to create a little keyhole effect but what I love about this is like how wide the shorts are on it I just think that's really fun and airy and playful and for this one I did stay true to size and a size medium and I do recommend just going with your regular size it fits really wonderfully and since it ties in the back it's kind of adjustable anyways this next dress is Shein via Amazon and this is supposed to be what I was gonna wear to the welcome dinner so here's the situation with that <laughs> I had actually ordered two dresses that I was madly in love with from Fortunate One and they somehow got lost in the mail. I was really, really sad about it because I was just obsessed with these dresses. But I will say that Fortunate One was so quick to remedy the situation. They gave me an immediate refund and I would have ordered it, but this happened just very, very recently. And we're gonna leave for Cancun in about a week. so just after that it makes me nervous to reorder those dresses from them so I just thought I would go ahead and get one from Amazon so I saw this one which was kind of like a similar style to the ones that I had ordered they were more of like a silky material and the same kind of like cow neck low back halter style and my only thing with this is I feel like it's just so much shinier than I intended for it to be but I mean I would pair this with like sandals and stuff and kind of like dress it down so I don't know I'm going back and forth on this. This is actually my first time that I've put it on and I feel like it's just that this is too voluminous right here. Like I feel like if this wasn't so voluminous and the material wasn't so shiny, I would be madly in love with it because this back situation, I'm obsessed. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think 
in the comments below. If we don't like it, then maybe one of my Vlogmas videos will be us going shopping for an alternative dress for the welcome dinner, but we'll just have to see. I mean, like, I feel like if it wasn't a tropical thing, I wouldn't mind the shininess, but just since it is, I feel like it's a little over the top. But again, let me know what you guys think. Like I said, I would style this with a pair of espadrille like sandals and then a little straw bag and I would just like have my hair down and casual. So I don't know, maybe that'll help out with the vision on this a little bit. Again, just let me know your thoughts. Like I said, I'm very much on the fence here. Then lastly from Amazon, I got this top, which is essentially like a long scarf. You guys saw these all throughout summer. These were so popular. This is like one of those ones where you can tie it like 16 million different ways, but I just tied it like this really quick for the purposes of it being the fastest way to tie it for filming. Though this is actually how it was styled on the website, but I could definitely bring it up and crisscross it or tie it a little tighter like this and then do it around my neck. Just like I said, tons of different ways to style this, but I got it in this really, really beautiful light blue. I thought that this would just be so pretty against the ocean, against the resort. And I thought that this would be a cute look for one of the dinners, just like with a pair of jean shorts, or maybe I'll bring my cream trousers. I think that that would be a really pretty outfit as well. Then I got a couple things from Revolve. The first one is this romper. This is like a rib material, very soft, very comfortable. And then it has a tie waist, which I actually feel like I should tighten. I feel like this isn't sitting right on me. Okay, that is a lot better. But what I like about this, besides the fact that the material is so comfortable, is the fact that there are pockets. You guys know I'm a pockets fan. So I mean like this vibe, it's all me. This is just like a comfy little romper that I can wear in the daytime, or I can even dress it up for dinner one night, or maybe even wear it on one of the plane rides. Lots of different ways that I could wear this in Cancun. And I just thought it might be a good staple piece to have in my luggage. Then the other item I got from Revolve was this Free People tank top. I just thought, again, this would be a good staple to have in my luggage because I can throw it on on the daytime over my swimsuit or I can dress it up and wear it to dinner at night but I thought that this was such a cute color. The material on this is so soft and it hugs you really really nicely. I feel like if I'm not going to wear this over a bikini I don't really need to wear a bra with it. Then lastly for the try and portion just a couple of comfy outfits from Boohoo. The first one I feel like I'm going to do as a plain look. I will say though I made a mistake with this. I got a size large for the set and it's just it's a little too oversized. I should have done the medium. I just wanted it to be like really comfy and cozy but i guess it's already sized that way for your regular size so definitely stay true to size there's no need to size up it's already designed to be oversized but the top is this like crop crew neck and the bottoms are just like a pair of joggers but i think i can still rock this just tuck this up there we go that's a little bit better okay but the pants are very voluminous on me very long but it's fine, I don't mind being cozy on the airplane. But I just really like the color on this. I'm usually not a pink girl, but I feel like this is like a mauve enough pink that I don't feel too Barbie or anything. I love the pockets on this. I just feel like this is gonna be the perfect outfit to wear to fall asleep on the plane with. We're gonna take a red eye there. Our flight leaves at like midnight. So you better know, I'm gonna be rocking this on the overnight plane ride. Then the last piece is the one that I was wearing in my intro. It's this half zip light gray sweatshirt with a little embroidery on the front. It is meant to be more of a crop style, but I got mine in a large, so I sized up. So it's a little bit longer on me than it's supposed to be, but I actually like that just so that I can be a little bit more comfortable. But I thought that this would be a really cute piece for at night if it gets a little cool at the resort and we're hanging out and the ocean breeze is getting to me. This is a really comfy sweater that I can easily throw on over any outfit I'm wearing. Or I can pair this with some leggings and wear it as one of my travel outfits. But I'm obsessed with this sweatshirt. I've actually been wearing it ever since it came in the mail. You guys might have even seen it in my most recent vlog. Just goes to show you, I really, really love this one. Like I said in the intro, I did get a couple of things that are not like actual clothing pieces that I was gonna share with you afterwards. So the first one are a pair of Bella sunglasses. I saw these on Instagram not that long ago and I was browsing their website and a certain pair caught my eye and I was going back and forth on if I really wanted to get a new pair of sunglasses for Cancun because these are a little bit pricier. I believe that this pair I got was like 160 so it definitely wasn't like getting a cheap pair of $10 Amazon sunglasses to use for vacation, but I just couldn't stop thinking about them. And every single time I thought about styling any of these pieces, I was wearing these sunglasses in my mind. So finally I was like, you know, screw it, we're gonna get it. So the pair that I got are the Dixie in the camo and khaki color, but this is my first time ordering from Bella sunglasses. So I was really excited to give them a try. If you're new here, you may not know, but I am a sunglasses connoisseur. I love sunglasses. They are my favorite accessories. I have 
an extensive sunglasses collection. Honestly, I did not need another pair, but I wanted another pair. But I was excited to try out a new brand that I hadn't heard of before. So this is what the case looks like. I really love the case. I love it when brands have compact hard cases. I always recommend to everyone, if you are not physically wearing your sunglasses, try to put them away in the case. I'm not always the best at it either, but it will extend the life of your sunglasses. I used to work in sunglasses at Nordstrom and that's something that we told everyone and it is so, so true. So I love the size of their hard case. It makes it easy to carry around with you in your purse, but it also comes with a soft case inside. And usually when brands do a soft case and a hard case, it's just kind of like implied that the soft case is also going to be your lens wipe, but that's not the case with Vela. They also send you a separate lens wipe. So they're just winning tons of points with me. Here is the style that I got. Again, these are the Dixie in the camo and khakis. So they're this really pretty green color and I've never really had green sunglasses before and I don't know why, but it just in particular, I really, really wanted this colorway. So here's what they look like on me. And you guys, I was so happy with them when they came in the mail. I was really nervous about them. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like them, again, especially because of the green, but this is like one of my favorite pairs right now. They're just like a little bit reflective, not anything too dramatic. And this green is just so pretty. I think it's fun, it's something different, but it's still a subtle enough green that it's neutral so you can wear it with pretty much any outfit. Then the last thing I wanna show you guys is my new travel pillow. It's this big gray infinity pillow. Don't get me wrong, I love the travel pillow that I currently have. It's the one that I showed in my Amazon travel favorites, but I was noticing just if I was wearing that to sleep for like a solid five, six, hours it's a little bit tight on my chin and my chin would end up sore when I woke up so it's great for like a one to two hour nap on a plane but for something where I might be sleeping for longer on the flight I wanted something a lot softer so I saw this one and it just looked so cozy so technically it's not an infinity it's called a Mobius design so it's pretty much an infinity but there's like one little twist in it what's fun about this is the fact that you can wear it a ton of different ways you could just put it around you and just like be cozy like this or you can do it like an infinity scarf and put it all the way around you so that when you sleep and you knock off it'll still support you actually i've used this before while i'm watching tv and if i'm like watching something i sometimes like to loop my hand through it and just like rest like this and it's really nice you can even hook your other hand in here and just be really comfortable this way you can also i think i saw on it do it like this and if you have a window seat you can sleep against the window just a ton of different ways that you can wear this to make it comfortable for you to sleep on a plane all right you guys well that's everything that i got in this cancun vacation haul i did also i will tease for vlogmas to encourage you guys to watch i did also get a new luggage set and a new coach carry-on bag but both of those are going to be unboxed in vlogmas so if you guys want to see those make sure that you are subscribed and you're watching but as far as clothing goes and everything that is everything that i got please don't forget to like this video and leave me a comment below especially let me know your guys's opinions on that dress for the welcome dinner and on that like bandeau amazon swimsuit Again, I'm really, really on the fence with the two of those, so I'd appreciate your guys' input. But I'm gonna go ahead and get going. I've actually been trying on and talking for forever. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I love you. Don't forget to stick around for the Cancun vlog and follow me on Instagram if you guys wanna keep up with our trip in real time. And I love you, and I'll hopefully see you tomorrow for the first day of Vlogmas. Bye.